imagine you're walking through the woods and you come across a patch that's so thick, so dense, that you can't possibly pass through it. That's pretty much what half of this property looked like. So this area here that I'm working on, um, there was probably 30 or so trees in six inch diameter and just bushes and overgrowth like crazy. Um, that, that pad that you see there, that concrete pad is actually the foundation and slab for an old garage that I didn't even know was there when we bought the property. That's how thick and overgrown this was. Um, so this is the final stage of, I guess, cleaning up the property. I got some plans for this back area. Temporarily, I'm going to extend the, the gravel, and, you know, make this area kind of like a parking spot, put a privacy fence up so it can't be seen from the road. And I'll probably rip out the fence, that, uh, that chain link fence you see there that goes around the back side of the property and just put something up that'll be more of a concealing privacy type fence. Gonna make an attempt at knocking this stump down. I don't know if it's gonna work or not. Uh, seems like it is a little bit, but I don't know, stay tuned. About four or five years ago, this big tree fell over in the storm. Uh, according to the neighbors, I guess it took out like a couple fences and uh, like a shed or two. Uh, the owners of the property just chopped down and cut out pretty much everything that was, you know, all the debris, but the stump was never ground out. The machine seems to be doing really good. Well, I have about half the stump gone, I guess. I gotta burn out the other part still, but I'm making progress. I'm happy when this stupid stump is gone. Instead of a fabric barrier, I'm using up random tarps and this is actually a pool liner. Cut myself. May not be the best, I get it. Water should still get around this stuff. I don't think it's gonna pool up. It's cheaper at least. Right now what I'm working on is I'm getting the, the rock that just came in spread out. The uh, box blade is giving me problems right now. The three points not wanting to go up and down. It did this, the tractor did this once to me in the past. And all I had to do is top up the hydraulic fluid. So when I get, get some time later today, I'll go ahead and run back home and grab some hydro fluid. I think that's what it is. I hope it's not frozen up the water. It's possible there's water in there, so I'll uh, 
I guess maybe I'll flush all the hydraulic fluid out. It holds like five gallons, so I really don't want to do that. Actually, it might be even more than five gallons. Yeah. 